I hope I set everything up properly. Okay, so. I think so. Today, science lesson is. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Learning about some more dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah. They're pretty cool. Love huh? them. They're pretty cool. Looks like got some rib cage, a head, <laughs> some leg some bones. Pieces. So when we went Thanks. to, um, we went to a couple garage sales, like our community, um, our subdivision had a couple, had some garage sales, right? Yeah. And, and we drove around and looked at the garage sales and at one of the garage sales, we found these kits. Pretty cool, huh? So there, as you can see, they're marked $3. <laughs> we picked up two of them because Anna likes dinosaurs and says it's a STEM kit. And we thought it would be fun to, to put together the dinosaurs one day and figure it out. So that's what we're doing today. Dinosaurs. Nice. So we are going to is build. That, this is, is for later. Name? We're going to build this. I'll read the directions. Or do you want to read the directions? Would you like me to read them or would you like to read them? You can read them and then you can kind of help me build. Help you figure out how to put it together? Yep. Okay. Is this the right one? Triceratops? Yes. Okay. So first we're doing Triceratops, right? Mm -hmm. What does the little card say about the Triceratops? It says, so that red, you see the red stuff there on, on the top? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That right. Yeah. What is that? That is dinosaur DNA. Dinosaur DNA. Ooh, all right, let's read this. We'll see what it says. It says, Triceratops, dinosaur DNA. Ramming horns. Ramming. Ramming, Ramming horns. Okay, you ready? Ramming horns. Are you ready? Yep. You ready to get going? Okay, the first thing I think we need is the head. Where's the head? Right here. Grab the head. And we're going to connect to the head the neck bone. Head bones connect to the neck bone, the neck bone. You ever heard that song? No? It's an old song. It is kind of funny. I think I want to say this is it. That's the neck bone. So this part needs to go into like, his head. Like this? Just like that? Well, pick it up and look at it and figure out, look at it and figure out how it might need to go in there. Can you, can you do it up on the, on the table? Uh, no, because so it, it just needs to be, if you want, can you like push this down a little bit for me? Here, put, put the head up here. I'll help you. I think this piece goes in there. Can you turn it sideways? I'll help you put it in. See that hole right there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> push. Let me see. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe, because I know it says to take it apart later and do the DNA activator. So how about we just, let's leave the head off. We'll stick it right here because it looks pretty cool. So from the neck piece on this back part, we're going to connect in a from, backbone. From this part? Well, these are clearly feet, right? Mm -hmm. We have four of them. Mm-hmm. Four little feet. And these are clearly ribs. Yep. And that's a spine. This looks like, what does that look like? Maybe a pelvis? A pelvis, yeah, I think so. Here's some more spine and tail pieces. Here's some little short bones and some long bones. These are probably what bones? Those are probably like maybe the tibia and fibula. And yeah, the, the leg bones. I think I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay, so I think maybe it's this guy that starts the spine, you think? Maybe. That's what it looks. So here's the picture right here. It's part number four. I think this looks so. So that means this would go into here. Or is that the back of it? It's the back. Huh. Yeah. yeah, maybe this guy. Yeah, because you see these? These two are the shoulders. Those are the shoulders? Yeah. These two are the shoulders. Shoulders of it. Because, you know, this is the pelvis. If this is the pelvis. You think that's the pelvis? Yeah. 
because you see these these are probably these si the side bones that go down from here them. look at this picture that there is the front bone and that there is the backbone and then this spine piece goes in between them so the back one looks like that and the front one looks like that almost looks to me like that's the front one because see that that bone hanging off on the side i think that's yeah. the front one so if that's the case, then this would go together like this. I just can't figure out how hard do I need to, oh, there we go. Like how hard do I need to push? And then and then this piece goes in there. Do you wanna do it? You wanna hold that? I'll, I'll hold it, but you can push it in. So this is definitely part of the what? That's, I don't know. This bone is part of the? Tailbone? What the what spine. is the spine? Yes, right? the spine. Yep. Yeah. Push, 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 push. I can't. I can't really hold it. Yeah, these are definitely require some adult strength. Even with my adult strength, I am having difficulties. <laughs> Why do they make it so hard? You would think they would just easily push together. Ooh, and it and it doesn't help that the spine is very pokey. Look at that. Look at my thumb. I've got spine pokies on my thumb. Can I see? My thumb? Yeah, the spine pokies. <laughs> wow. It's impaled me. Okay. And then that piece, right? I think Goes so. back here. Because mm -hmm. that is the... That's the... um. I think that's the pelvis. That's the pelvis. Yes, ma'am. I, I agree with you. I think that's the pelvis. All right. Let's get this in here. Okay. There we go. So now we have... A full back. back. Right. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now. It's like we, we just undug the fossils, old fossils that were broken up. Let me see. We need to add the ribs. So let's add the rib cage. So these two. Mm-hmm. And they would go where? Where would the rib cage go, you think? Like around here, maybe? Mm-hmm, on the sides of the spine. What? What is the rib cage for? What's it good for? Well, it's it's good for holding the heart in and long so it doesn't, like, get damaged. Protecting, right? Yeah, it, like, protects. It protects, that's right. Maybe it goes in those holes. I, I believe it does go in the holes. I'm just trying to figure out which holes it goes into. Because I think there's two for one side and two for the other, and it fits together like that. See? Yeah. So there's four. So I think this one goes in the top. Hold on, I need to push it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Donna says, if you ever come to Boston, bring Anna to the Museum of Science. The dinosaurs are incredible. We've been to museums to see dinosaurs a couple of times, haven't we? I think so, yeah. You think so? You don't remember? Mm -mm. Hmm. Did you block it out because you were scared? We we went to a museum in West Palm Beach, Florida a couple oh, years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like a living dinosaurs exhibit. And Anna it was kind of I think it was you think it was a mix between like fascinating and terrifying? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> remember when we, we were seeing outside and we heard the dinosaur roar and the loud microphone? Yes. And yeah, you didn't like so that very right. much, did you? No. You were not a fan. But then I started to like them. But you are older now, so maybe it wouldn't be so scary, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you notice about the head of, which dinosaur is this, by the way? Triceratops. And what do you notice about the, the head of the Triceratops? When you look at look at the head bones. What do you notice about that? Nah. Still trying to get the other side of the rib on, but while I'm doing that, so there's basically it looks kind of cool because it's like is this no open. Like what? Okay, so it's basically the horns that are like on the forehead part are longer than the little horn that's on the front. Oh, why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Any guesses? 
Mm-hmm. What do they use those horns for on the top of their heads? Probably to, like, fight predators, maybe. Yeah, that's right. To do battle, right? They have to fight predators. So when they're fighting off predators, they're trying. What's the purpose of fighting off predators? Why do they have to do that? Well, because like if they have babies somewhere around mm-hmm. where they are, mm-hmm. and there's like a fox or something that's like trying to come up there and trying to battle with the eggs and try to like get them or something. Mm-hmm. The Triceratops has to fight the fox back so mm-hmm. that way they can they can keep their eggs safe. That's right. And 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 can you think of any other reason why they would do battle with those horns and who else they would battle with the horns? Any other things? Maybe other dinosaurs? Yeah, and why would they battle other dinosaurs maybe? You don't know. So sometimes um, a couple once or twice a year, or however frequently, I don't know how it works for dinosaurs, but dinosaurs, um, they have to create more dinosaurs, right? Yeah. How do they do that? They lay eggs. They, well, well, but they have to mate, right? In order yeah. to make more dinosaurs. And so sometimes maybe the boy di- dinosaurs fight off other boy dinosaurs because they want to mate with a certain female dinosaur, right? Yeah. And the other the other boys might try and, and steal their female. <laughs> you think? Mm-hmm. It's possible. Maybe. All right. I'm trying to figure out how to nice. put this. Look at this. I don't think this is right. No. No. <laughs> yeah. But that is the tail. Can you help? How do you think? What do you think? Here, Here, you look at the picture and see if you can figure out what is going on with that tail. And I'll work on some legs. Connie says, I bet she would like the new Jurassic Park movie. What do you think about that, Anna? Did you like the regular Jurassic Park movie? Yeah. It was cool. It was cool? It wasn't scary? Not really. That's good. Not that much to me. Hmm. You see the direction that tail goes? Here, can can you take it apart for me so I can see so so I can see each piece individually and see if you did something backwards. Sure. Yeah. So this go. part you definitely put on right. This part only has one way to put on. So this part is good. And say hi everybody. Walk Lots of friends hey on. Hey guys, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I see some folks on YouTube. I see lots of folks on Facebook. Uh, Nancy said she just got her notification. We've been on for about 13 minutes and Facebook does tend to wait about 10 minutes before notifying people, but they will do it faster if a lot of people click share. So if you're coming in, hanging out to watch us build dinosaurs today, uh, we'd love it if you click the share button to help spread the video around. So Facebook will tell people that we're on. That'd be great. Cause there are not very many people on right now. I'm trying to put together right now. I am trying to put together uh, dinosaur legs. Ooh. And Anna is trying to figure out what you how the wrong. tail goes. And we are working on these kits that we picked up at a local garage sale. So we're building a Triceratops today. And then in a little bit, we're going to put together this dinosaur that I can't pronounce. Anna, do you know how to say this? I, I don't, I can't say Stegmalock? Steg, Stegmalock? Daddy is the dinosaur pronunciation expert. So he might know how to say it. You should call him over, see if he... Hey, we have a question for you. What's up? Do you know how, how to pronounce that? How do you that? say this dinosaur's name? Stigmalock? Oh, Anna was very close. Stigmalock or Stigmalock? Okay, there's foot number three, and then I gotta do one more foot. Okay, I think I got it. Can you put these two together? 
Just yes, like, just like that? Yeah, just like that. Okay, hold on. Let me shove this foot in this leg bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. Okay, just like that. Here we go. No. Once those two are connected. All right, now I'm going to put out. So what are these lower bones on a human? They're called what? The fibula and tibula. Well, the lower one. Yes. Yeah. The lower one is the lower the 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 bottom bone on well, the leg. Well, that's the ankle part. No, no, no. I'm the sorry. bottom half of the leg bone is which one? Which one's the fibula and which one's the tibia? So that one that you're pointing at in human, that's the tibia and, this, and the fibula is Okay, on the so I'm gonna put on the fibulas. It's on the outside. So if you're <laughs> looking at it from the front. The fibula will be on the outside okay. of the right or left leg. So, these, I tell you what, these pieces are not easy to push together. Did you figure it out over there? Oh, this is like, see now, now we have to put them on the stand. Sharon says, okay, you say it, Stiggy Malik. Stiggy, Stiggy, that's Stiggy Malik? Mail, M A I L, even though it's M O L, Mall, Mail, Stiggy Malik. Hmm. <laughs> Jennifer says that's probably why they were selling them because they're difficult to put together. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps you are right. Oh, maybe some of the leg bones don't because this one went in nice and easy. So I don't know if there's a difference between some of them. Okay, now. Here's another one. Did you figure out that last piece of the tail? I think so. There's another one. Okay, that one clicked now. right in. Put these, put these Two together just like this. Uh, let me get this last, let me get this last leg bone in here real quick. Oof, okay. Just All right. like that. Just like that. Got it. Good job figuring out the tail, ma'am. I think so now. Okay. And so then Ding. where's that gonna go on this body? Where's the tail gonna go? Probably right here. So stick it in there. So can can I have that and I'll and I'll put it the right the way it needs to be. Here, I'll hold it. You push. I, I can't I won't be able to push it in. I'll just put it here. Put, get your other hand ready for like that? Yep. Okay. Push it together just like that. Right now we are working on the Triceratops. What do you know about triceratops? Do you know anything about them? Not really. How, how about I'll, how about I uh, like that? I think so. It. Oh yeah, I think you're right. It's they've got little joints, so we can we can make it curve even a little bit more. Look at that. Okay, so I should try some legs, huh? Try to shove some legs in. Sure. Put them oh, under. they are different. Ooh, what is the difference that you notice between these legs here? Look at these legs closely. What difference do you see? The feet on this, on um, the feet on these two mm -hmm. are a little bit bigger. That's right. 
And then this this needs more curved in. And these two are more curved in than the others. But the feet on those two are bigger than the feet on the other two, right? So yeah. looking at the picture, can you tell, is it the front or the back that gets the bigger feet? Front. The front? All right, so I will put the big feet on the front side. The other one's right by you. Um, we should look up some facts. Maybe, maybe daddy could help look up some facts about Triceratops while we're finishing this guy. Yeah. <clears throat> now once you put all the legs on. Hey daddy, huh? come here. Put this leg on. Ooh. What's up? Can you look up some Triceratops facts? Sure. While we finish building this guy. So after you put on the other two back legs, we'll just have the head left. And then we can take it apart and put on a little DNA thing. Well, hmm. This, this is... I don't think this is right, Anna. <laughs> Are you supposed to look like that? No. No. Okay, well, can we just, can, I, can you just have him for a second? <laughs> I think. Because it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> yeah. So this, this one, this, this one that's up in the air mm -hmm. needs to be fixed so it's pointing down and this one the toes need to be facing forward okay let me see i'll see what i can do <laughs> i'll see what i can do in the meantime look up some bats oh okay i didn't glasses on so i didn't see so what do you got what'd you find okay triceratops means three-horned face in Greek. Three-horned face? The does it have three horn does have a three-horned yeah. face, right? Mm -hmm. The triceratops head is one of the largest of any land animal discovered. Some triceratops may have had as many as 800 teeth. Whoa. It Whoa. probably wasn't a very fast dinosaur. They think it ran maybe about 20 miles an hour. And... How fast is that compared to other things? 20 miles an hour? Because that sounds pretty fast. <laughs> a lot of animals run 30. And uh, let's see, what else? Is there anything? Hmm. Ooh. The triceratops, like most dinosaurs, are believed to have laid eggs in small clutches in a nest and guarded by the female until they were ready to hatch. There you go. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Down those two back legs. Wait a minute. Now we have another problem. How? <laughs> it's, put, put on the other one. How does it? How does it? Oh, Anna. Try to put that one on the other side. Maybe the other maybe the other hole is lower. If I put it on the other side, then the foot is going to be backwards. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. <clears throat> oh gosh. Oh, I just broke the tail off. But look, without the tail, can stand on its feet. <laughs> Dorothy says, what did they eat? What did Triceratops eat? Do you know what type of dinosaurs they were? Were they plant eaters, meat eaters? I don't know. But the only way I can find that out is if I get my book. Remember that first book that you said wasn't good for doing it? The magazine one? No, the book book. 
The first, first one before I get No, but Daddy had facts pulled up. He could probably figure out what they eat, huh? They ate mostly on shrubs and other plant life. Oh, so they're plant eaters. That's so what? They had an eat like mouth. It was best suited for grasping and plucking rather than biting. What is that called if they're plant eaters? Hmm. Wasn't it like carnivore meat? Carnivore is a meat eater, yep. And what is a plant eater called? I can't get this other leg bone in. I only know carnivore. Starts with and an omnivore. H. What's an omnivore? Omnivore is a mix between plants mm. and meat. And then the plant eater it starts with with an H. It's a er. Oh, herbivore. Herbivore. That's right. Okay. Well, so that's him without the tail. Now we so just have to, to figure put, out. Try to put the tail on where it's like facing up. Like that, right? Yeah. Where it's where the tail part is facing up and not down. Okay. Magic each has been beeping over there. Okay. Ta-da! Nice. What do you think? I like it. Now you can go ahead and figure out how to put the head on them. We'll plant him. Well, now it says remove the DNA activator from the container. Hmm. Oh, dun, dun, dun. What is the DNA activator? It's that little thing. That little thing. And it goes. How does it go here? If. I am confused. Detach the head and the DNA piece. Hmm. Oh, I see. You take this out. You take this neck bone out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And you put this DNA activator in here like that. And you put the head bone on here. Give me one second to push this on. Oof, there we go. Now, you can move the head. What does it say on there? It says dinosaur DNA. Well, what does it say? The, the purpose of the DNA activator is to give him what? Ramming horns. Ramming horns, yeah. So you can push this, see? Mm. So they put their head down and they ram with it, right? Nice. And then if you want, we can put him on the on the little platform later. But we have another dinosaur to build, don't we? What's the other one? The other one is how do you say it, Daddy? Dig some spiky moloch or something. Well, I know that dinosaur as a pachycephalosaurus, which means bony head. Okay. I think that's more of a specific variety of Petrocephosaurus. Here's your body parts. Ah! Ah! Rolling body part. What's this? This is the next guy. Look at this. Like that. What's this piece? I don't know. Good question. We have to figure that out. All right, let's see. We have a head. Do you see the head? Head? What's the difference between this guy's head and our triceratops head? Where's the head? What's the difference? What's the big difference? Well, you can see on the triceratops head, do you see that little wing? Looks like a wing. Yeah, this that thing? part. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't have it. Yeah, this you're right. This guy's head doesn't have it. It has these little spikes in the back instead. So do you think this guy would be good at ramming other dinosaurs with his head? No. No, probably not. What do you think his expertise is? What do you think he's good at? Mm, maybe whacking it with whacking them. Look at his feet. What's, the, what's different about his feet? They're 
smaller. The back ones are really, really small. So do you think he stands on four feet or two feet? Four feet. You think? Yeah. Did you look at the picture of the dinosaur you're building? Maybe two feet, yeah. Check out the picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he, he just runs on his back two feet, huh? Yeah. All he right. only has, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. He only has these back two feet. And then the other two are arms. Right. They're like little little arms. Little, like T-Rex, you, know, you know? Tiny, tiny. Look at the little tiny hands. Like, you know, the T-Rex? Yeah, they're very similar to a T-Rex. That's right. Interesting facts? Uh, the name is a combination of the river Styx and from an ancient... Uh, character uh, god from ancient times called Moloch. So it, its name it translates to demon of the river Styx. Oh, so, creepy. Yeah. So they must have been, do you think they were mean or nice? Probably mean. Probably mean. <laughs> what else do we know about them? Can you, can you tell me what this bone is? Look at this bone. Hold on. Come on, Daddy's reading reading facts. If I can get these leg bones to stick. Okay. It was uh, had a row of sharp spikes on its head. Oh, where's the row of sharp spikes? Do you see them, Anna? Oh yeah. What did they do with those sharp spikes mm. on the back side? See that? He's got some spikies around his nose line, too. Does it say what they used them for? No. Okay, I'm going to put together the tail. Here's the, I got all four legs. Nice. I'm going to put the head by a little card. And can you please look up what this little bone is for me? This bone? It's a little, I don't know. You're going to have to look on the directions for that. I don't, I don't know it doesn't it say what the bones are called, Here, unfortunately. It looks would, like a joint. She would like, like that. It looks like an action figure toy joint <laughs> more than an actual bone. <laughs> uh, it says the remains of these dinosaurs have been excavated in Montana, South Dakota, Wyoming, and guess what? What? Alberta. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yep. Probably red deer, I'd imagine. Maybe. Dorothy would like to know what food it eats. Yes. I think it's a herbivore, but oh, let me see. Okay, I think that's the tail. Yeah, it's an herbivore, or was an herbivore. I'm looking at these legs. All right, we need. There's a piece that goes together. This looks like the. And there's a little bit. There's a little bit different. What's a little bit different about about these legs of of this guy that we're building mm -hmm. and the triceratops legs. Yeah, what's that? It looks like the triceratops legs are more like our kind of our fingers oh i'm talking about like the toes of it it's more like our fingers because it looks more squishy mm -hmm. kind of squishy and then on these guys it looks more sturdy like claws these what, do, what do you think that means well because he said, what, what, is, what does the name translate to? Uh, it is the thorny Moloch of the Styx, or demon of the river Styx. Yeah. So I guess 
what is the what is the triceratops name translate to again three horned face or something yeah like that. I think, I th yeah three horned face so if this guy is i think this guy is more mean and that's why he has these more claw like feet because hmm. i, I th probably it looks I like he could probably move faster than than the triceratops Oh, yeah, too, because he only has two feet, not four. Because the Triceratops legs will probably go like that, and these guys will probably, like, jump maybe, like, a meter or something. Oh, look, I got his front paws on. His <laughs> paws. <laughs> <laughs> like he's some cute little puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't the legs stay up? Well, they have to attach to the body. Yes. Then they'll stand. You want to attach the body onto the legs? Yes, I'm currently working on that right now. If I can figure out. I feel like we're missing a piece. Well, you've got this guy back here that she's importing. <gasps> <been> Anna! <laughs> I oh, needed yeah. that. She's a little magpie. That's where the legs go. <laughs> that takes a little thing and carries them off. Oh my gosh, it makes so much more sense now. Okay. Peace. <laughs> I'm holding a leg. Let's see. So then then this, I think this piece goes. So it's like the pelvis. It goes up the... in here. Like oh. this is what it says. Oh, That's why nothing was making sense to me. I'm like, mm. I don't know. I'll just wing it. I'll just shove pieces together and hope it works out. Because this this piece is the key. This is what the arms go into. <laughs> Anything else interesting about this? So I wonder, is, can you find out if these two dinosaurs ever were around in the same time yeah did they ever come across each other did they live in completely different places stiggy moloch is stiggy moloch the late cretaceous period and then triceratops uh, <sighs> also late Cretaceous period, but let's see where, where these found. Do you have any more pieces you're keeping from me, Anastasia? I can't put it together except, without them. Except for just the like. <laughs> except for I'm this, certain. and except for this. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a yes, possibly? Possibly. Let's see where, where it's been found. Yeah, Wyoming, Colorado. Yeah, they they may have crossed paths. Very cool. Do you think they would have gotten along, Anna? Oh yeah, look, uh, Montana, Maybe? South Dakota, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. So I'm sure they probably saw each other. I don't know if they hung out or were friends, but <laughs> they knew each other. They knew of each other. How are you doing today, George? <laughs> Pretty good, Earl. <laughs> Maybe they competed over the same. Vegetation. Oh, I'm still having trouble. This 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 guy's name is Demon. Yikes! <laughs> That's his name. Now it seems like there's something. Demon the Dino. Hmm. His legs won't stay on. I don't know if it's just it's that just I'm not pushing them in yeah. hard enough or... No other pieces I'm keeping. I know. There's no other <laughs> yeah, I mean, pieces. She's not hoarding any of the parts anymore. So. Uh, Jennifer says maybe they were frenemies. Yes. That that's, that's Maybe that's, they helped alert each other to other dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, they could have helped each other, right? Yeah. Like, you know how in, in, in Africa, like, different animals will alert all the other ones that a predator's coming. Anna, what is that called when... when Different species help each other out. So, uh, what kind of relationship is that? Oh, I know. Mm. Start, Start you S. do know. You've heard of it before. It starts with an S. We've talked about it. When when creatures help each other out, it's called a sim. 
symbiotic mm-hmm. symbiotic mm-hmm. relationship mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know or they both you don't remember mean, hearing that before mutually benefit mm-hmm. from each other mm-hmm. they cooperate and help each other in certain ways what was, was that? There she is. <laughs> okay, I am really struggling with this guy's it- rear end. Do, 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 he does the splits. Look <laughs> at the picture on the back. <laughs> Help, baby. My fingers hurt. Wow. <laughs> My fingers hurt from pushing pieces together. Can we together. have the directions? And, I'll, and I'll, I'll, how about I read and you just go? Well, that's the thing. There aren't very many directions. There's just a lot of pictures. We may have to finish this. I think we have to get off of here within the next five minutes because we've been on a long time. And we still have to do some language work. But which this is interesting, one? huh? I think I have the Triceratops legs on backwards, Anna. I think the longer legs go in the back. Probably. (laughs) That's typically how it works. Oh, no. Broke on. Yeah. These kits don't, you know, this is kind of like your anatomy model kits. They're... They're, they give you these pictures, but they don't label the parts. You're, like and, you're, you're on your own. Yeah. They're like, figure just it out. take this minimal information. Here you go, genius. Figure Make it, it out. <laughs> take your smart, prove it. So, mm. can, can I see what you've got for the, um, for the, what you've got right now for the other dinosaur? Which one? The one that, that we're working on? Daddy has that one. We're tag teaming these dinosaurs. It's still not going well. Man, this does not want to go in. So, it looks like... Did she get the spine parts? I think so. Mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we need peace. We need peace. Everybody needs peace. <laughs> okay, how about that? <laughs> Still right. looks weird. I don't know about this. I don't know about any of this. Could you imagine if they excavated dinosaur bones and then put it up in the museum all wrong like this? They used to do that. They did? <laughs> they had to take them, first, take them apart and redo them? When they first found the uh, woolly mammoth, uh-huh. they thought it was a, a skeleton of a cyclops. What? And they put it together like they thought it was like a, <laughs> a mythological creature. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're doing something wrong with his legs because he doesn't fit on on here proper. But you know what? He's not alive. So, ah! Ah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, no! Look at the sand with the leg. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this doesn't make any sense, but... <laughs> I don't know about this. All right, we're doing the we're doing the best we can, man. This is so it looks. He looks like, like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth opens. Watch. He could probably be like a weight. What what sounds do you suppose they made? Probably weird trumpeting or, <laughs> or low pitch. Stop, stop, please stop. Push it, hold like on elephant a trumpets? Or like weird giant bird sounds? <laughs> Honking and weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
some some version of of elephant honking bird sound. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh gosh. All right. Well, I think we're in, in pretty good shape for now. Uh, oh. We will have to, we'll take a picture when the other one's done because daddy's still struggling with it. Yeah. Let me top. Here we go. We got the triceratops done. Okay. See? Can we have the other Ta -da! I think I almost have this guy. <laughs> Okay, well, let's tell everybody we'll see them later tonight. We are doing our, uh, it's Wednesday. What does that mean? What is that? You. What is it? What the heck is it, Wednesday? <laughs> what do you think we're doing today? I don't know. Should we make you eat some crazy stuff and guess what it is? No. <laughs> that would be mean. Um, but we do have a plan, I think. So. We'll be on later this evening to hash that plan. What do you need? That, that what do you thing, need? That thing, that bone by itself. E off in the bone. <laughs> this? <Yeah. laughs> All right. That Say goes, bye, everybody. That, that goes to the uh, triceratops. Does it? Yeah. Oh. That, that's yeah, it's e the neck bone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are we saying goodbye? Anna. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, 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 everybody. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> <laughs>